Hello dear friends, once again welcome back to my channel, Scientific Fundamental Facts. आज का मेरा टॉपिक है इलेक्ट्रॉन कन्फिग्रेशन का कैसे इलेक्ट्रॉन वो एक सेल से एक ऑर्बिटल से दूसरा ऑर्बिटल में जाता है उकबाई होता है तो चलिए हम लोग अभी उसके बारे में देखते हैं सबसे पहले फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देर आर फोर प्रिंसिपल सेल्स डेट वे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस वन इज फर्स्ट सेल सेकंड, थर्ड एंड फोर्थ दिस आर द फोर प्रिंसिपल सेल्स एंड इट कंटेन्स सब सेल्स एस एस पी एस पी डी S, P, D, and F. These are the subcells. Here, the maximum numbers of electrons that can be occupied by S subcell is two. For P subcell, the maximum numbers of electrons to occupy is six. For D subcell. Ten and for F subcell, the maximum numbers of electrons can be fourteen. Now, what is the mechanism to go on at configuring the electrons? Now let us see. These are the four principal cells, and these are the sub cells. S sub cell has the capacity to occupy two electrons. P has the capacity to occupy six. D has the capacity to occupy ten. And F has the capacity to occupy fourteen electrons. But the problem arises here: how we can input the electrons in the orbitals? Now let me explain how the electrons it fills. From lower energy level to higher energy level of the orbitals. Here, the first rule is the total number of electrons that can be accommodated in the shell is equal to twice n square. Here, n refers to the principal quantum numbers. So here, this one. Principal uh, shell one, so quantum number one, so one square, so its capacity two. Here we have seen that uh, the total number of electrons that can be accommodated in a cell is equal to twice n square. Here it refers to the principal quantum number. Now, second rule is the total number of electrons that can be accommodated in a sub cell is twice the number of orbitals. Here, Here, these are the orbitals. We came to know that how the number of electrons that can be occupied in a subcell is double or twice the number of orbitals that it contains. Here, let me show you. Suppose as subcell, it has a capacity to occupy two electrons, but it has only one orbital. For P subcell, it has six electrons, but here three orbitals. Same like for D, it has to occupy ten electrons, but five orbitals it has. For F subcell, it has fourteen capacity, but it has seven orbitals. So from that, what idea do we get? Here the third rule is the total number of electrons that can be occupied in an orbital 
is two, not more than two. And that very two electrons, it should be in opposite spin. One is in clockwise, other one should be in anticlockwise. And it is denoted by the symbol upward arrow and downside arrow. Like this way, we have to input the electrons in the orbitals. For example, for S subcell, one electron should enter with the arrow like this and another should be at the down like this. Like this way, the electrons enter the orbitals. The main thing is to occupy the electrons. How it should go on occupying from the lower energy level to the higher energy level of the orbitals. First of all, the electron should fill the first, the lower energy orbitals, that is S orbital. Then it go on and on and on, like this way, based on above principle. Now let me show you how the electron imputation technique is with the help of above principle. Let me show you. Here, first of all, we have to go on writing from 1 to 8, it is for S. For P orbital or subcell, we should go on writing from 2 series. That second one we have to take, one no need and last one no need. Here we have to put P orbital. Next one is for D subcell. And the last one, that is F. Here, first of all, the electron should fill the lower energy level of the orbitals, like this way. This is the technique by which the electron it occupies from one lower energy level of the orbitals to the higher energy level of the orbitals. If you understood the mechanism of the elect electron configuration, please like, subscribe and share my channel. Thank you.